painting a full watercolor sheet. Preparation, my subject, Appleton Farm with Cows. First I go to the site, actually go to the site and take pictures, making sketches, plein air, painting, maybe even um, uh, buying some things at the farm. Second, I drop, go home and I drop the photos into Photoshop. These are two photos that I chose to work with the barn, and the cows. I place the cows in front of the barn in Photoshop in layers. And then I check compositional styles under the crop tool. I also want to make the cows take on a glow from the left as I did in a previous painting of my dog as I see here. Materials. Are you ready? You need a large area to mix. A tray. I use three jars of water. One for reds, greens and blues, and yellows. So I also have clean water. Always have clean water. And I don't want to muddy my colors. I use paper towels and a sponge. Wipe my brushes. I have a spray mist bottle to keep my water my wash is wet and I use an array of brushes rounds and flats and my printout I line up my color study my white paper on a grid to make sure that my bonnet isn't leaning I've always done this and I always do a color study some smaller ones for when I'm doing half sheets and this time I'm doing a larger one uh, for the full sheet. So this is a half sheet. After completing my color study, especially when I'm doing a full sheet, I might photo it again and put it back into Photoshop. Look at it again. Evaluate it. Make mental changes. And then I would begin my full sheet. I, I Because I taught photography, I think I just like to see it again and uh, some people use a mirror to look at things backwards I use Photoshop I do not use the photo anymore I use my color study and as you can see from um, as you can see from the full sheet it's not exactly the same as the color study after painting most of the watercolor, I take a break for at least a week. Look at it occasionally, but make some mental notes, but I really don't touch it for at least a week or more. I paint something else, maybe a Yupo, maybe do a collage type of thing, but I definitely do something else. Then I can come back and look at it with fresh eyes, make my changes, and sign it. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed my video on my thought process for large watercolors.